So um, we've got three amounts here, Emma, of three different reactants. So anytime you're given different amounts of different reactants, it's a limiting reactant problem. Now, problems that we've done so far, we've been given two different amounts for two different reactants. But I did it for three different reactants just because I want to illustrate the three different ways you convert to moles. Okay? Now, what we have done in the past is this, this type of problem right here. You're given a mass, you're given a volume, and a molarity. So we've done that in the past. That's nothing new. The new part is, ta-da, a gas with a volume, a temperature, and a pressure. So to review, uh, if you have an amount for a reactant, you have to do a problem for it. So we're going to have one, two, three different problems for the three different reactants because we're trying, Sam, to figure out which one we're going to run out of first. Because you can't eyeball it. You can't say, oh, I'm going to run out of sodium bromide first. You just don't know. So let's start with the sodium bromide because that's the easiest one and hopefully the one you remember the best. So 15 grams of sodium bromide converted to moles. You do that with the molar mass. Sodium is 23. Bromine is 79.9. And I get 102 grams, 0.9 grams. When in doubt, get it to moles. And the reason why we get it to moles is because then once it's in moles, then use the mole ratio. If your known is given in grams, you use the molar mass to get it into moles. If your volume is a solution, then you use molarity to get it into moles. And if we're adding on to it, if you're given a gas frost, then you use PV equals NRT to get it into moles. And then once you have it into moles, then you use the mole ratio. Wait, how do you know which one is simpler? We are going to have three separate problems, so it doesn't really matter which one you start with. You can start with any one of them. I'm just starting with the one that I think you guys are the most familiar with, and that is a solid, because all you do is use the molar mass. Then we go from, for every two of these, I get one of those. So now I've got it in moles of my unknown. And then I convert my unknown to grams. One mole of bromine weighs 159.8 grams. Because bromine weighs 79.9, there's two of them. My calculation. So this is sort of review. This is review. Oh. I thought it isn't strike the first semester though. Yeah. Yeah, that's strike. But like I said, it's um, the semester is cumulative in the same way that math is cumulative. They still math, have to be able to do the same do things. The second semester. So you don't do any addition, because that was first semester. So you're not responsible for adding numbers or multiplying. <laughs> you don't have to call me like that. All so I'm you have to be it. like, hey, you know what? Hey. I did addition in first grade, so I don't have to do addition yeah, anymore. Well, right? Simple algebra. Hey. That was freshman year. I don't have to do algebra ever again. I, if I'm given a square, I don't need to know their 90 degree angles, because that was geometry. My ears are closed. I don't I, that's the way you should approach <laughs> life. I, I think that's a very healthy way to approach life. Just, Close your eyes to what's going oh, on. Bang, bang, bang. There he is. <laughs> Put you on the whole class. <laughs> All right, so that's review. Now, what about the next one? We've got 25 mils of sulfuric acid. 
And this is the other reason why, you know, we always label everything. Because here we've got three different reactants, a different product. You want to make sure you keep things straight. Should there be parentheses or no? On that so far? Or is it uh, you don't or have to. Three different? You can have it there if you want to, but it's not, right. it's not needed. This is a liquid. It's a solution. We have a molarity. So to get it into moles, we're going to use that molarity. What does molarity mean? There are six moles in one liter. That's what molarity means. So when in doubt, just work your way over. If you have milliliters up here, what goes down there? No. Milliliters. So even if you get stuck, whatever is here goes there. Then I use my molarity. Technically, this should be AQ, aqueous. If it's a pure liquid bed, then you use L. But that's not a pure liquid. It's sulfuric acid dissolved in water. It's my fault. Sorry. Sorry to all of you out there in YouTube land. I know you're watching right now while I'm streaming. Okay, so H2SO4. Now I use the mole ratio, 2 to 1. Last up, convert it to grams. When you finish a problem, you should just flash the camera like a big smile. I should flash the camera smile? Yeah. You should flash the camera. How oh. <laughs> big you found it. So I'm just making up these numbers as we go, but they're incredibly close. You're all right. 12.0 grams. Siggy figs. With Siggy figs, yep. Just check. Wait, but you actually typed it into your calculator. Okay. It's kind of like something like so you just. Yeah, I thought you were so you're making up the answers to the problems. No, no, no. I'm making up the numbers for the reactants. So this is this is not new. This is not new. The new part is we've got some uh, we've got a gas. So we got a volume. We got a temp. We got a pressure. What are we gonna do? Get it to moles. Do we have an equation that relates V, T, P, and N all together? Yes. We do. The ideal gas equation, P, V equals N, R, T. Solve for N. R is constant, so we you know R. <laughs> we should put R down there. 8.31. Solve for N. We do have to do a couple conversions here. We have to turn temperature Calvin. to Kelvin. So by adding 273, that's 298. Kind of scrunch the sit a little too close here. We have to convert our centimeters cubed into liters. Yeesh. 
So we convert our cubic sixes into the liters. Speaking of pressure. Yes, Cindy. Do we have to do the rail railroad tracks with the converting centimeters? No, you can just shift it over. It's, it's, the, it's too close to the end of the year. I, if you just want to shift it over, um, that's fine. I, as a teacher, I want to be very explicit in everything that I come up with. So what do we find, like, why are we doing this for just this but not the one above? The PV. So this one wasn't a gas. This was an aqueous solution. This one wasn't a gas. That was a solid. But the MnO2 was a gas. Oh, 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 we're, oh, we're doing the... Oh, I got you. That's close. I yeah, don't. forget it. But you won't Where's it off? So now let's plug in our numbers here, Jules. P, 50 kPa, multiply by our volume, 0.125 liters. R, times temperature. No, it would take too long. That's good. Figgy fig. Three siggy figgies. Moles of what? MnO2. MnO2. So that was to get it into moles. So when in doubt, get it into moles. Then we use the mole ratio here, Franny. For every one of these, I get one of those. So for every one mole of manganese dioxide, I get one mole of bromine. And then the last step is one mole of bromine. Gives me 159.8 grams of bromine. And now if I calculate this one out, I get 0 0.402 grams of bromine. Can you round the 0 0.403? Six after. Uh oh, oh. What did I do wrong? Oh, you're right. So. Do you want to do that? Which one is the limiting reactant? The last one. Gas. The one that gives you the smallest value. So the one we are going to run out of first, well, first of all, this is the answer. Will it always be the gas? No. If it was always the gas, then we would just when not do any of this other work. We would just go straight to the gas. This is a nice Can I go to the bathroom really quick? Yeah. Take or am I going to miss? So that's our limiting reactant. So on your homework tonight, I give you three of these problems, 20, 21, and 22. And 17 and 18. They're not limiting reactant problems. These three are limiting reactant problems. Ooh. Though they only give you two reactants, not three, to make it. What did I always use a gas for? So in order to go from your volume as a gas, you're going to have to use PV equals NRT. So are we always converting to add on these? When it, you always get it to moles first. Okay. Always get it to moles first. So hopefully the first two parts here was nice review, and then we, then we have this. You don't have to sign off. Mm. Just press the red button.